What's up cooks? It's Wednesday. And yes, you do see this funny head bopper thing on my head. Eric bought this for me to celebrate St. Patrick's Day and I figured since it's coming up, we will uh, try it out today, huh? So today on What's Up Wednesday, we're gonna talk a little bit about pantries. And I've gotten a lot of questions recently about pantries and food storage and how we prepare ourselves. And um, although I'm not gonna go into the specifics about what's going on now, I wanted to talk a little bit about pantries and show you what's going on when we went to our local club store. So what's up? It's Wednesday, let's do this. So I've been getting a lot of questions from people because a lot of people are wondering what kind of stocking up should they do um, for their, uh, either for their basic working pantry or for their food storage. And my answer is always the same. I can't tell you how much you should buy of anything because everybody's family situation and the number of people you need to feed is different. And also a lot of people have different thinking about how much food they should have on hand for what period of time. Should you have 30 days, two weeks, uh, two months, a year, right? That's only a question that you can answer for yourself. Um, I could tell you some of the things that we have done. We keep both a working pantry as well as some food storage. And our food storage is basically staples that we use all the time. I don't buy stuff in my food storage and do this couponing and filling my basement full of stuff that we don't eat on a regular basis because they don't end up in our rotation and then they just end up going bad. So the advice that I can give you is, you know, take stock in how much you want to have on hand in case there's a snowstorm or in case you have to um, quarantine or whatever that is, and just keep that on a regular basis in your food storage. So you're gonna have a working pantry, which is things that you need every day. It's gonna be your oils, your vinegars, your basic foods, and then you're gonna have your more long-term storage, possibly in a different place. Um, one of the things is, you've probably been hearing a lot lately of people rushing to the club stores and rushing to their grocery store to get food, right? They're just like hoarding the stuff. And that's not really anything that I would recommend because food always has a shelf life and you don't want to go and spend a bunch of money and have all this food that ends up going bad. So one of the things we did is we recently went to our club store and we were amazed at the things that were just completely gone. And we did a little stocking up ourselves just because, you know, as things are really moving in the stores and they're not available for you to get, that either leads you to have to buy more expensive versions of that, or you have to do without that, or you end up, you know, in a frantic trying to get stuff um, like a lot of other people. So my advice is to work on your food storage in your pantry over time. Don't just go to the store and spend $1,000, $2,000 to fill this thing up when if you just buy a little bit over time, you will uh, start to develop your pantry. So one of the things that amazed me was, you know, you always think of a lot of people that do, you know, either a lot of prepping or a lot of food storage and they buy a lot of processed canned goods and they do, those are disappearing from the shelf. But one of the things I saw when we went to our local club store is what is disappearing is those staple items. Those staple items like rice. We went there and the entire thing of both long grain 
and short grain rice were completely gone. The more expensive rice was still there, but your basic bag, this is a $9 bag, 25 pounds of long grain rice, and this was sold out. We bought this last week, but it was completely sold out when we went there this last weekend. Um, also, flowers. You know, if you're talking, you know, long-term food storage, you're not talking buying bread because bread just goes bad. You could put it in the freezer, but the quality is not that great. So you sh really should have on hand some basic bags of flour that in case you need to, uh, either for financial reasons or for the weather or whatever reason, you have to start eating out of your long-term storage. And um, basics like these flowers are great because you don't need that much to make bread. The key is to get the skills of basic bread making so that you can make bread if you need to. All you need is flour, yeast, water, and maybe a little fat, right, and some salt, maybe a little sugar or some honey, and you can make bread. So what was disappearing when we went was Flour, this is the bread and pizza flour, but the regular all-purpose flour was completely gone. Um, beans, beans are great. You can buy canned beans, but if you buy um, some bags of just dried beans, you can process these beans on your own and you get a lot more for your money. And these have, the shelf life on these is just crazy, right? And pressure cooker, those will Cook yeah, pressure cooker, they cook fast and the shelf life is just, you know. So this is a great thing to have on hand. So let's check out some of the things we saw. We had a little bit of fun in our at our local club store, um, playing around, looking at all the things that were disappearing off the shelf. And um, yeah, let's take a look at our shopping trip. Plenty of Folgers in the house. <laughs> Nobody's interested in that. The best part of waking up is having some coffee to drink. Any coffee. Everything on sale is clearing out. Mm -hmm. Oatmeal squares, gone. People aren't really corn. hoarding cereal just yet, are they? Not yet. But the cornflakes is here. Cornflakes, they, they are. Artesian water, out. Aquafina purified water, out. Members bar, purified water, gone. They got a lot of paper towels. Deer Park, gone. Woohoo, Costco. Get your heart out. We got toilet paper. Ain't got no fights yet. And we got more than a pallet, too. We got three pallets made. Four than that. 20 pallets. Woohoo! Get them while you can. We bought some of this last weekend. Palm 45 rolls, right? That means if you go through one roll a day, that's 45 day supply, right? Gone. This was all full last week. Gone. This is what we call Palm 100. These are paper towels, right? Last week it was full. Now, we're down to the last one. Foam containers. Gone. Clorox all-purpose cleaner. Psst, 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 psst. Gone. All laundry detergent. It ain't as all as it could be. It is almost gone. Palm olive, antibacterial, dish soap. I don't see any. Gone. Members mark, antibacterial, hand soap. Wow, we have some? Gone. <laughs> Members mark, disinfectant cleaner. Last one. I'll sell it to you for 100. Gone. Comet bleach powder. Gone. <laughs> this is an important one. Nitro gloves. Gone. Foaming hand soap refill. I feel like I could just swim through all this supply. Hand soap dispenser. So not only are we out of the soap, we're out of what to put it in. Gone. Mommy, I want a new mattress. We're low. Come on down here. We only got about five or six cases of uh, SpaghettiOs left. We're down to the last row and a piece here. Also, take a look at Chunky. It's getting kind of low too. Formel, not so bad. And the more expensive stuff, not so bad. But look at here. We got some hot, spicy, cheap soup. Noodles. 
gone. Teriyaki beef noodles. Can't tell it by where I'm standing because we're out. Gone. Top ramen with soup. I don't see any. Gone. Top ramen chicken. We ain't got none. Gone. Hot and spicy. We ain't got none either. Gone. More chicken. We ain't got this either. Gone. Hanover brand garbanzo beans. Six pounds, 14 ounces. Want some? I would too, but they only got about three or four of these things left. They are almost gone. Goya chick beans. Chick beans? Chickpeas. You know what they look like? I don't, because we ain't got none either. Gone. Members mark peach cups, four ounces. I don't see any, do you? Gone. Members mark long grain rice. 25 pound sacks. We got one last week. Do you see any more? I sure don't. Gone. 10 pound sack of Domino's. Domino's? Yeah, just Domino's. Uh, cane sugar. Do you see any? I don't. This is 25 pound sacks. Still got plenty. This is members mark 10 pounds. Still got plenty, limit time only. But this here, gone. Do you see any? I don't. So this is Members Mark All-Purpose Flour. Do you see any? What size is it, Amy? I don't know. 20. It's out. Gone. Bread flour. Members Mark. Do you see any? I don't. Gone. So, Cooks, that was, that was amazing, wasn't it? All the things that are disappearing from the shelves. Um, I think there's a lot of panic going on right now. One of the things that I advise that I can give you is do a needs assessment. How much food are you going to need for a certain amount of time and just start building your pantry over time or your food storage. Um, and everybody's food storage is going to be different. So uh, look at what you think you'll need and just stock up on those things. Um, there's no, way, no reason to panic. Just, um, you know, work on that over a little bit of time. Even a bag of rice and some beans will take you a long way. So it's Wednesday. What's up? Uh, as cooks, we can get together our food pantry over time, and we can actually use these items to cook on a regular basis. So keep that in mind when you're preparing your pantry, is just make sure that you're buying things that you're going to use, right? Um, I'm not going to admit to anything on here, but this might be considered food storage uh, gone bad. Um, so we might have... I made that cake yesterday. What happened to it? I don't know. Maybe we need a few more eggs and oil and sugar, don't we, darling? <laughs> he ate it. Some. Some. So, Cooks, I hope you have a great week. Um, I will put a link up here and down below um, of my pantry organization project. And we had a lot of fun with that. And it's still going strong. It's still working really well for me. Um, so that might help you give you some ideas of how to organize all your things. So have a great week. Um, I really appreciate you joining me. And let me know down in the comments what you're doing for your pantry or your food storage. If you like this video, please subscribe below, leave me a comment and a like, and visit my website at amylearnstocook.com. You can also catch me on social media at facebook.com slash groups slash amylearnstocook, on Pinterest and Twitter at amylearnstocook, and on Instagram at cooking with Amy. And I love pinto beans. <laughs>